The LightPath LED Diesel Torch is actually the first red light therapy torch I've ever reviewed. And I think I'm quite lucky here because this torch packs a lot of features into it. So hang around as I share those features, test the wavelengths and the radiance figures, and then finally share my concluding thoughts. Let's get into it. Okay, so what do you need to know about this? Well, of course, it is a photobiomodulation or light therapy device designed for targeted treatments. Of course, you're not using this for full body benefits, but it could be used for systemic benefits, patting your wrist, for instance, lymph nodes, under the arms, all that good stuff. But really though, it is great for spot treatment. Maybe you have a sore elbow or a wound you're trying to heal, or even some skin blemishes. It does include four wavelengths. You have two red light wavelengths at 620 and 670. Press the button again and your near infrared kicks in, which is 810, which is really cool. Press the button again and you also get blue light, which is your 460 nanometer blue light. So in this mode, we have blue, red, and near infrared. That's why it could be great for those suffering with skin issues. But if you've seen my video with Scott Kennedy, he talks about how the benefits of blue light go beyond acne and skin benefits. So definitely check that out. I'll put links to it below. What else do you need to know about this? Well, it's got a battery built in. You charge it using the provided USB-C dock and cable. The head is adjustable. You can simply rotate it around like so. So it makes it easier to treat various parts of the body. It comes packaged in this nice little carry case. And within that case, you actually find quite a few different tips. You can use a moon lens to help with penetration into the tissue. You can also use this intraoral tip, which is designed for use in the mouth, in the nose, or even in the ear. Personally, I like this approach. I have a good friend who is suffering from some severe tinnitus. I'm actually gonna send him this device. He's gonna experiment with it, and hopefully it's gonna provide some pain relief and maybe even some benefit from the tinnitus. As well as that though, you could be using it intranasally, or if you've got, say, a sore tooth, uh, the fact that you've got your blue light in there makes it quite beneficial as well. So you can put it into the mouth, treat that sore spot, away you go. Finally, there's even a built-in 10 hertz pulsing feature. To access that, you simply hold down the button on the top for a few seconds, and away you go. Pulsed light at 10 hertz. Okay, so let's get out my spectrometer, and we're going to test the wavelengths and also the irradiance. Okay, so here you can see the red wavelengths. Now, there are two peaks. One here is at 648, and the other one is at 6. 80. Now what's interesting is in the product specs on the website, it's actually listed at uh, as having 620 and 670 nanometer light. Now 620 is way down here, so there's definitely not uh, a peak of 620, which is a little bit off-putting. Uh, 650, fine, there's no issues with these wavelengths, it's just I always get a little bit worried when they say one thing on the website and it's different in real world because then it makes you question what else is going on. But uh, yeah, 650 and then likewise with the 680, it was marketed as 670, which is actually about here. So you are getting a decent amount of 670, but you're getting more at 680. Let's check the near infrared light. Okay, here we see the near infrared light coming in, uh, peaking at around 8, 10, 8, 11. So that is good. That's what it's marketed as. And that is the uh, wavelength that a lot of people are liking as well. So good to see there. Let's turn on the blue. All right, so blue lights come in now. Uh, it's marketed as 450, and that is exactly what we're seeing. So here you're seeing the full breakdown. We've got the blue, the red, the near infrared, and then we also see this additional near infrared wavelength. What's unique is I've tested a few devices now with blue, and often when they have the blue, there's a little bit of a 900 near infrared light that comes into play as well. That only came on when I turned on the blue. I'm not too sure what's going on. It must be a design thing around the uh, blue LED chips, but it is good because you are getting a little bit extra uh, near infrared when you turn on the blue, so good stuff. Hey, if you're enjoying this, can you please hit the like button below? And also be sure to subscribe to check out more product reviews in the light therapy space. Back to the review. Okay, so what about the power figures? Now what I did is I just tested the red in the near infrared mode. I disabled the blue light. At six inches, we had a reading of about 25 milliwatts over centimeter squared, which is quite good for such a small device. Realistically though, you're probably not gonna be using it at six inches from the body. You're gonna be using it a lot closer, right? So I also tested it at one inch came out to be about 120 milliwatts over centimeter squared. That is a ton of power. 
I even then tested it right against the sensor. I always get a bit iffy with these numbers because the sensor does some funny things, but it was over 200 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Remember that's just for the red and the near infrared. I didn't have the blue light running. So really you're gonna see pretty good penetration if you're spot treating with something like this. As we saw in those graphs before, more of the light is going to the red than the near infrared. So if deep tissue penetration and joint issues are a problem, just keep that in mind, sure those irradiance figures are good, but more of the light is going to the red. Remember, near infrared penetrates better than the red light. Still though, good numbers. Okay, so how much does this cost? Well, it currently retails for 244 US dollars. Now, light path LED, you do have a discount code and that discount code is Alex. It means you can get the diesel torch for about $231. They provide free shipping to the US. And if you live outside the US, Light Path LED do ship to a few countries, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada are examples. Shipping to these countries, expect to pay about $50. Finally, I should mention it comes with a two year warranty. Okay, so what do I like and not like about this torch? Well, let's run through everything. Firstly, it has great power. Uh, I was quite impressed. This is the first time I've tested a torch, so I didn't really know what to expect. But yeah, there are high powered chips in here. What's interesting is in the few minutes I've been testing it, I can feel quite a bit of heat build up happening. So yeah, that does reinforce that there are some high powered chips in here. Having those multiple wavelengths is also a plus. You've got red, you've got near infrared, and of course you've got the blue. And the fact that you can separate between them is quite cool. I think some people may not realize though that they're using it without near infrared because you turn it on once for red, you turn it on again for red and near infrared, and then of course the third time for blue and the red lights. But I wouldn't be surprised if some people get this, just turn it on and treat themselves using only the red. Of course, when you turn it on to the near infrared mode, other than a beep, there's no way to know that near infrared's running. Near infrared is invisible to our eye. There's no like near infrared indicator on here. So some people, if they haven't read the manual or haven't watched this video, may get caught out by that. Hopefully though, they figure it out. What else do I like about it? Uh, the pulsing feature is good at 10 Hertz. If you're into that, if you want to tap into the benefits of pulsing, easy to do, quite cool. It's also simple to use. I mean, you literally have one button and away you go. The addition of blue light is quite appealing for some. Great if you've got the skin issues or you want to tap into the other benefits of blue light therapy. Again, check out my interview with Scott Kennedy where we talk about blue light therapy and also our article on blue light therapy. Links are below. The inclusion of various tips is quite useful. If you want to hit the back of the molars, for instance, or in the air or in the nose, the, the intraoral tip is quite neat. Plus the included moon lens for deeper penetration on the body. Finally, I think it's a pretty good price for a product that's easy to use, it's portable, has good power, has lots of wavelengths, and has pulsing. Can't really complain at $230. What do I not like about it? Well, this isn't necessarily a downside to this product, but just torches in general. It is, of course, a much smaller treatment area. For around two, three hundred dollars you can get a portable battery powered handheld device that's going to have a much larger treatment area. You wouldn't really want this to treat the whole face or the body. Or even if you're using this as a travel device, it's not that well suited. You can get other products that are just going to have more bang for the buck and larger treatment areas. However, as a targeted device, yeah, I mean, it is pretty good. Finally, the wavelength discrepancy is always something that makes me think, mm, what else is going wrong here? When a company says it's this, but it's really that, you have to wonder, did they actually test this properly? Do they know what they're selling? Is there something else that we're going to find out is wrong? Saying that this is a product from Light Path LED, and I know Scott spends a lot of time digging into not only the science, but also the product development. So maybe this is one that just slipped through to the keeper, and hopefully in the future, we don't see this problem. Speaking of Light Path LED, it's another thing I should have included in the pro list. By buying this torch, you're actually buying into an ecosystem, a community, so to speak. You can reach out to the founder, Scott himself. He can help you with any problems. You can jump into their very active Facebook group and learn from other people using these products and other people that are very passionate about red light therapy. Overall then, should you buy this? Well, I think if you are looking for a device to just hit a particular area and you want both red and the infrared at a good power point, then definitely, yeah, definitely consider it. I think it's a good product to have, say, in your coffee table drawer or at your office desk or in your gym bag. Let's say it's the evening time, you've got that sore tooth or I don't know, that niggly ankles playing up again or maybe you've got a, I don't know, finger that's recovering from a burn. You can just get this out, treat that while you're watching some TV or listening to a podcast or talking to your wife, whatever. 
it's good to have. Likewise, traveling or at the gym, it's small, you've got good power radiance, and you can tap into the benefits of red light therapy without having to lug around a big device. Yes, if you pack it all up in the carry case, it may take up a bit of space, but really you don't need all that stuff. You just need a USB-C charger and the torch, and away you go. Though if you're new to red light therapy and you're looking at this to say test the water because it's a low price point, I'd actually recommend getting something a little bit larger, whether it's a handheld battery powered Mito Mobile Flex for instance, or Lightpath LED's mini red handheld device, or even stretching the budget further and getting a tabletop device. I feel like you're gonna get much more benefits, a much larger treatment area, better power, and uh, just bit of value. But if you want a red light therapy torch, I have to say that this is the best red light therapy torch I've ever tested because it's the first one. But saying that, I wouldn't be surprised if I test a few other ones and find out that this is actually a really good one. Who knows, maybe later on, I'll do a big comparison of all the red light therapy torches out there because I know there are a few of them. If that's something you'd like to see, please let me know by leaving a comment below. Until then, feel free to leave any questions or comments. I'll put links to everything I mentioned below. Otherwise, go check out this video. I look at all the handheld battery powered red light therapy devices and I compare them all. Check that out if you are looking for a battery powered portable red light therapy device.